This is Noah. So, what's going on in Israel? The situation is not good. In fact, Israel is on the verge of the worst tragedy in her short history, worse than any war so far, the death of her democracy and a total system breakdown. The so-called judicial reform you may have heard of is none such thing. It is rather an anti-democratic coup, a grab for limitless power by a democratically elected government composed of convicted criminals, messianic zealots, corrupt opportunists, and ultra-nationalists, turning democracy against itself and against the citizens of Israel. Riddled with lies, the judicial reform is in fact an attempt to weaken and control the Supreme Court, which in Israel's case is the only check and balance we have. Unlike other democracies, Israel lacks a constitution, a second house, state legislation, and other obstacles to stand in the way of the ruling party. Without an independent Supreme Court, the citizens are at the mercy of the government's every whim. In effect, that means a dictatorship. How this happened is a long story, but it did. And now hundreds of thousands of Israelis from every corner of society are out in the streets demonstrating across the country and across the globe, which is in itself awe-inspiring. In fact, it's the only ray of light in this nightmare. The governmental coup and sinister dictatorship laws reminiscent of pre-World War II Europe have brought fighter pilots, reserve soldiers, doctors, lawyers, the high-tech community, the business and banking community, the women's groups, artists, the LGBTQ community, moderate observant Jews, bereaved families, Holocaust survivors, activists of all sorts and more to protest with a might Israel has never known since her establishment 75 years ago. So what does this mean for you? Dangerous anti-democratic coalitions of political opportunists, authoritarian leaders, religious fundamentalists, ultra-nationalists, and brutal criminals wreak havoc across the globe. When a democracy like Israel, which far outweighs her size and global impact, falls victim to such forces imploding from within, the ripple effect is enormous and terrifying. The death of a democracy is like a virus attacking the body. It is not only devastating, it is also contagious. In perfect analogy to the COVID-19 pandemic, all countries should not only be aware and protect themselves, but also reach out and help, just as the world did during the pandemic, sharing knowledge, information, and medication. Because we all know, viruses spread like fire, and so long as one of us is infected, none of us are safe. For Jews around the world, the situation is even more complicated. Israel was the love child of the Jewish people, nurtured, supported, and defended by them, the manifestation of an age-old dream, intrinsically connected to and reflecting their values and ethic. For those of us living here, Israel is a home, and with all her complexity and challenges, nothing short of a miracle. Now all that is at risk. If the coup is successful, Jews will become far more vulnerable than ever before. And then there's the future of the Palestinian people who have already suffered so greatly under decades of occupation. The current government has declared war on peace, eliminating all hope of a two-state solution and leaving the Palestinian people exposed to horrific acts of violence with no savior in sight. The ticking time bomb, which is the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, threatens the stability of the entire Middle East and as such, the entire world. So what can you do? We call upon our friends across the globe to raise your voices in support of decency, equality, and democracy. Let the Israeli government know that it's anti-democratic revolution, that oppression, bigotry, and racism are not acceptable to the international community and not welcome in your borders. Let the Israeli government know that you will be unable to conduct business nor philanthropy as usual should this anti-democratic coup not be stopped. And remember, the government is not the people. We, the people, are fighting for democracy and freedom, our shared values. Support us in every and any way you can. We need you.